why hello. It's me. I'm Kiki. <laughs> it's time to make normal outfits fantastical. I kind of rearranged my filming area slash reading nook. Um, it's very cozy. I thrifted this very cool chair. And this chair I thrifted a long time ago. It is a, a chair from a theater. And it has like an iron siding. And then this little guy, he's just made his own little bed over here. So it was very cozy. So I asked on my Instagram story what kind of things that you guys would like to see. And one of the things that was requested a couple of times was how to make normal outfits kind of fantasy inspired. So I put up like a question box to ask like specifically what types of outfits do you want me to try and like make into a fantasy theme? So I've got some of my few normal clothes out because I mostly wear uh, this or, you know, something a little bit too crazy. And I get that that is not the goal for some people, or maybe it is and you're just not confident enough to wear stuff like that out yet. Um, but either way, I'm gonna try to show you like an entry into fantasy. So the first thing I'm gonna try to style is jeans and a white t-shirt, which I, I had to look for my jeans and white t-shirt for a very long time, uh, cause I don't ever wear them. I'm surprised I still even have them in my closet. So because I don't wear them often, let's see what we can come up with. I haven't worn jeans in so long. This feels weird. I do really love these jeans though. Um, something about jeans, I don't particularly like this blue color for fantasy. However, I was talking to Epi, my friend the other day, we were talking about how if you just dye your jeans dark olive green, that just kind of solves all the problems. So that might be what's happening to this pair. Here we have the base. Ignore the wrinkly leg. <laughs> My first instinct is to tuck it in because I think that that just looks nice. However, if we don't want to tuck it in, leaving it long, especially if it's like a longer t-shirt that, you know, goes past the crotch area. <laughs> Any shirt that's a bit long like this, you really can just turn into a tunic by putting a belt on your waist and to make it a little more fantasy loop it underneath and through like this and that already adds a little bit of a medieval silhouette without really doing anything at all let's keep adding to this and see what we can do looking in my jewelry right now i think jewelry and accessories uh that's going to be the best way to amplify an outfit into the fantasy realm so we're gonna add a sword necklace because why not and then i also have this little kind of choker necklace from good boy mercantile it's like a little chain mail situation a little bit more interest to the top i feel like it's it's going somewhere but i think adding the jewelry kind of makes it look like too much of a bland outfit with a lot of jewelry. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm gonna add some shoes. These are just brown combat boots that I thrifted. Boots are probably the best thing for a fantasy outfit because you just can't go wrong with boots. I'm gonna try adding on that same sweater that I started the video with. Okay, I actually, I like where this is going. It kind of like takes away from the belted situation but I like the color of this and I like having more layers because I just don't love this neckline of like, just like round, boring neckline. This is a jacket that I thrifted. It was literally like flesh color. <laughs> so I just writ dyed it and it's a bit darker now. I'm gonna add some pins. These are little mushroom pins from the Etsy shop La Bottega di Pan. And I'm gonna add these to the jacket. I say it a lot, but I truly think that fantasy fashion is all about layering and accessorizing. And the cool thing about that is that you can stop 
whenever you feel comfortable. Like if you feel like I'm adding too many things, like you can stop whenever you want, but you can also add as much as you want. And I think that's a very fun way to make an outfit. So this is what I've come up with for the first fantasy inspired outfit with just jeans and a white t-shirt. This is definitely something, you know, you could go wear out and I mean, at least where I live, nobody would look at me twice wearing this. I've got out way crazier stuff though, so. <laughs> I really like how this one turned out. I think it's a very cute outfit and it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, but I'm gonna try to style it again in a different way. So starting over, I'm going to tuck the shirt into the pants. Same situation with the belt. This is one that I've painted on. Same thing with this belt. I'm gonna tuck it underneath here and through so we have a little bit of the vines sticking out. This belt is a bit shorter so it doesn't stick out quite as much but if you can find really long ones, um, medieval belts were often pretty long so that's a good, good thing to look for in the thrift store. I just love cuffed pants with boots. It's just, just so fun. I think I'm gonna try sweater vest. Never worn a sweater vest over a t-shirt, but let's give it a try. I like that. It's a bit short, which I don't love, so I'm gonna tuck that front piece in just so it doesn't show the under white part of the shirt. I like where we're going. I'm going to add this coin necklace. Looks like a haunted treasure I picked up along my journeys. And then I'm gonna layer it with another coin necklace because I like them and I own quite a lot of them. So now I've got my coins on. Another thing I love that you can wear at the Ren Fair that you can also wear in normal everyday wear is little key straps. So this one is from Embercraft Creations. It's got a little rune on it and then you can put your keys dangling off of it, which I think is very fun. But if you also have little purses where the straps detach, you can use these to hold a little pouch. You would need two of them and hang it off of the belt like so. But that's another really fun thing that I like to add to my outfits. I don't know where my other shop is though, so use the imagination. I, again, don't love the blue color of jeans, but putting a sweater on that has kind of earth tones as well as this leather pouch and then this with the green in it, I feel like it does kind of tie it back to more of like a fantastical vibe. So here is take two on the jeans and t-shirt. I'm gonna try one more. So. I've got the flats on with this and I left one of the chain necklaces on. Something that is really easy to do to make an outfit fantasy is to have kind of designated fantasy pieces that you pair with normal outfits like this. A lot of times you can throw stuff like pashmina scarves with cool decorations on it or a blazer that kind of has a tapestry fabric on it. But if you can't find stuff at the thrift store and you want to invest in like a bigger kind of fantastical piece, you could get something like this shawl that I have from Celtic Fusion Design. It's got a nice big collar on it. You could probably wear it as a hood. Um, but then the straps actually come through. So the sides are open and the straps go through here. So you can tie it in front like this. Whether you tie it, or you just leave it open. Having an item with like these Celtic knots embroidered on the side that has the length of almost like a cloak or a cape and just kind of gives the general silhouette of a fantastical wizard of sorts, I think that that definitely just makes the outfit fantasy without the outfit actually doing much as a base. It's just one piece on top that's cool. I have two other little capelets I will show you on the same base. So this one is from the Etsy shop Costura Real, and it's a bit shorter than the other two, and it comes down in points like this. 
This is a really fun spring and fall piece uh, if you can, you know, lay your stuff but it's still not quite cold enough that you need full sleeves. I love having my little arm sticking out the side. And Costura Real makes the coolest hoods. They're huge. They're like actually <laughs> insanely huge. So that's also a fun detail. Um, I have one more little capelet. And this one is from Romwe from their, like, I think it was their fairy core line. This one's kind of corduroy. I feel like because it's so cropped, having the shirt tucked in wouldn't really work well for this. So I would probably do the belt thing again. Since the capelet is green, I'm gonna use the little belt with the green leaves. So here's another option. Again, I just don't like the color of jeans. So this with some leggings, I would actually love. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna change into that right now. I feel like that looks like a thousand times better. I just don't like jeans, that's just me. But it's instantly giving like forest ranger vibes. And I love it. I'm parched. If you're not into the idea of a capelet, you can just switch it out for a sweater. I thrifted this sweater because I loved the metallic buttons on it. I also think this is really cute and I kind of feel like Peter Pan right now. So that's always good. Okay, switching the pants to a skirt. You can do all those same things I just talked about with a skirt as the base with the belts, the capelets, you name it. But I'm gonna show you another fun little hack. Okay, you're gonna need a belt. Any belt will do. Even if your skirt doesn't have like belt loops or anything like that, you just want to make sure that it is going to stay in place on your waist. Okay, well, I mean, even that's cute with that sweater on. I mean, the possibilities are truly endless. <laughs> this life hack involves one of these very thin braided belts, the kind that don't have any metal rivets to put the belt through, just the kind that's braided and you stab the little thing through the belt. You can make a skirt hike out of this. Basically, you're just gonna take the end with the metal belt buckle underneath the skirt and up through the top here. <laughs> Find your other end of the belt here. Cinch it up as high as you want. You can even move the belt buckle up higher if you want it to be shorter. Just tuck that end back down through the skirt. And voila, you have made a skirt hike out of a belt that you can thrift for literally a couple dollars. If you find that the end of the belt is sticking out, just tuck it up underneath the other side of the belt. To move this, you know, over to the side if you want. You can have it directly in front of your legs. If you have two of these belts, you can even hack it up and do a little pirate situation. As long as your skirt material isn't too bulky, it's not gonna scrunch up into like a gigantic ball here. So here's a life hack. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> it's business casual time. <laughs> I've not often had to dress in business casual. So I'm gonna be figuring this out as I go. I don't really have a plan here, but I'm wearing some slacks and I'm wearing my button up. I'm tempted to wear my, my favorite boots, my docks, <laughs> but I'm going to wear these little Victorian boot heel things. I am winded, but the shoe did not get the best of me, not yet anyway. <laughs> Here I have my heels, my slacks. I'm gonna roll them up one more. So I have just this plain white button up shirt on, but I would say if you're looking for more of like a fantasy vibe in your business casual aesthetic, look for blouses that have like a Peter Pan collar, maybe more of a ruffle neck detail, or even just a plain button up with a little bit of a poof to the sleeve and like a bit of a peplum cinch here. I just think that that adds some more dimension and it automatically reads a little bit more fantasy. And I'm going to add my vest. It's a tweed vest from Celtic Fusion Design. 
Honestly, don't love how tight the sleeves are, but we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Okay, something that I feel reads very fantasy is obviously jewelry and accessories. But instead of just wearing a necklace, I have this little collar clip. Okay, so this one that I have has little flowers on it and it just kind of dangles all cute like. I don't love the sleeves though, so I am going to put something over. So one option could be the sweater that I have with the metallic buttons because I think that would match the little collar thing very nicely. But if you feel like you can't wear something like this to work, you could also do a blazer. So I have this velvet one. I like this one buttoned up personally. But I also have this green oversized blazer. So, you know, I like the oversized look of a blazer, but if you don't, you know, that's all right. He's being so cute. <laughs> but you could also belt the oversized blazer just like I did with the t-shirt to make it look more like a tunic. I would wear it like this, but if you wouldn't, that's fine. I, I realize that the things that I am comfortable wearing are not like things that most people would be comfortable wearing. Um, I've never really cared my whole life, but I've had a lot of practice going out in full costume garb to the grocery store, to the bank. So I'm kind of unfazed by this outfit, but moving along, I'm gonna change into a different top. Every time I button up a shirt from the top down, I feel like it's giving the Lizzie McGuire movie from my childhood. <laughs> so this button up shirt, I thrifted a few days ago, haven't even tried it on until this very moment, and I quite like it. I thrifted it because I saw that it had this cinched waist detail, and the sleeves were a bit more luminous than other button-up shirt sleeves that I've seen thrifting. So I feel like sleeves do a lot for fantasy. I am going to tuck it in for this purpose though, even though, just to prove it, I think that the same belt situation still applies here. I have this knit vest that I'm gonna put on over it. Um, but I don't like the length that this is ending at, so I'm gonna tuck in the sweater as well. I also have this chain belt that kind of reminds me of chainmail tassets of a sort, but I also don't think this is the vibe. I'm gonna go with my trusty belt looped over itself, like so. And I'm gonna add my sword necklace. We are armored and ready for battle. Another thing I would consider for business casual outfits is pins and brooches. I have these mock pins. I have a friend named Joelle and she makes these little mock pins. I will put her Instagram here. So something like that could be very cute if you're not into bigger ones. Um, I have this little tiny fellowship leaf that I think looks very cute. So I'm going to stick this one onto my sweater. I'm gonna show you another business casual look right now. Okay, for this business casual outfit, I'm going to be wearing a thrifted blouse and these wide leg pants. Now, this blouse, she's, she's ugly. She needs some help. If you watched my last video, I talked about how I never would have thrifted something like this in the past because it it's just so tacky. Uh, but I talk about how <laughs> fantasy is tacky sometimes. So if we can learn how to style this and layer this in a way that looks better, it can be saved from a landfill. And I think that's cool. So the thing that drew me to this top was these crazy sleeves. They are a very fun shape. They're like very, Pretty long, 
but they're short at the wrist and I think that that it's just very flowy and fun. Reminds me of Renaissance era gowns with long billowing sleeves. We're gonna hide the top. I'm gonna tuck both of these into the pants. Even though I don't love the neckline without a collar, I think that adding jewelry to the top will help. So I'm putting this chainmail necklace back on. I'm kind of just letting it sit along the collar just to kind of distract from the fact that it is indeed quite a plain collar. Of course, I'm adding a belt because as I said, I don't think it's complete without a belt. So here we go, business casual, but we got pants on. They're very comfy. This outfit is comfy in general. Someone asked me how to style culos. I've never said that word out loud before, so I think that's how you say it, but these would also make for a great Hobbit look, which I will get back to in a bit. Hey, it's me from the past. I just showed you another business casual look. Amazing. Um, I had somebody else ask how to become a kind of casual everyday Hobbit. So here's the trick. We're going to take off these boots because Hobbits don't need business casual heels. I'm also gonna switch my pants to these corduroy pants. I've just cuffed these pants. Once, hobbits wear pretty short pants, so you could cuff it more if you wanted. I'll add one more, why not? And again, I think all outfits benefit by a belt. So I'm adding my leaf one. Oh, that just, how does that help so much? I love that. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the sword necklace. I honestly think this is already pretty hobbity. Um, you could wear boots or you could wear sandals. It kind of just depends on the weather, what you're doing, where you're going, what you feel comfortable in, but here's some shoe options. I'm gonna switch this vest to the other vest. And I'm just gonna leave it open because I think that that looks cute. So here is another casual hobbit look could also button it up you could also tuck in the vest i feel like i'm ready to be an equestrian person <laughs> so someone asked how to style culottes and they are actually perfect for hobbit i'm gonna put on this off the shoulder top you can actually wear it with these up too uh, so we'll see which way looks best but just a little crop top. And for this outfit, I am going to treat these essentially like a skirt because they kind of look like it. So I have this green tank top from Lady Effie's shop. It's got some dragons on it, it's so cute. But I'm gonna use this tank top in place of a bodice. I think I'm gonna wear them up just because I think that looks a little disjointed having the shoulder out. This tank top has essentially become our corset for this hobbit look. I'm going to wear this because why the heck not? And I'm going to do something that's going to surprise you. I'm just warning you. I'm going to put a belt on it. <laughs> I feel like we need a little bit more of the green. So I'm going with this green vine belt again. As you can tell, I really like this belt. And it just gives the fantasy vibes without doing too much. So here we have a look inspired by female hobbit outfits, but it's much comfier because you're not actually in a corset and you're in pants. They're secret pants, but they are still pants. One of the other questions I had was how to style um, dungarees or overalls or bodysuits. So let's go to that one next. Oh, look, it's reverse Lizzie McGuire. I'm buttoning from the bottom up and it still happened. Isn't that crazy? I left the undershirt on from the Hobbit look because I like the sleeves. I think adding sleeves to overalls and such are a good way to add a little more flair, dimension, and what have you. I'm also going to add the aforementioned 
Luna Moth pin for my friend Joelle. Because why wouldn't I? It's just too cute. And I'm gonna add a bigger belt to this look. And I honestly don't even really feel like I need jewelry or anything with this outfit. I think it's very cute as it is, but I am going to add a hat because that's another accessory I haven't talked about. So here I have a beret embroidered by Knock Thrice. It has a sword on it with a little moon and some ginkgo leaves because those are my fave. And it has a little sword and stars on the back. So obviously this matches kind of a fantasy vibe because it has a sword on it. So that's doing some of the work for me. However, even if I didn't wear it with the sword side facing out and it was just a plain black beret, I do feel like this is adding a little bit more interest. Um, I styled this with the boots because I thought it would look nice with the belt, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. Okay, I've switched back to the flats because these remind me of medieval shoes. They even kind of look like Regency shoes, and I think it's a good thrift find. Um, this does have like little belt loops that are pretty thick, and I think that those are cute, but I want to show more of this darker green sash. So I'm just going to tie it over like this. And you could do it in a bow if you wanted. That's very cute. Or you could just tie it in a knot and then have it kind of hang off center. It's really whatever you would like to do. But I think that this color palette uh, is really working for the fantasy aesthetic because we've got two shades of green, which love green. And then all of the darker elements kind of tie in together. I think something more on the neck might help though. So here's this necklace from Ecclesia. It is a little gothic window and I love the chain details. I think the necklace suits the neckline of this very well. And I just actually really like this outfit. I'll probably wear this one. I'll probably wear some of the other ones too, but this one is very cozy and I don't know. I feel like I'm ready to go on an adventure. One last thing I did want to mention is dresses. Um, no one specifically asked me about dresses, but I figured I would just share some advice anyway. So when I'm looking for dresses, again, I'm looking for that neutral color palette. So this is kind of a beige. I like the asymmetrical bottom. I think that that reminds me of like fairies and general whimsy. And then this one actually has kind of like it's a t-shirt material, but it's sewn on in a way that kind of reminds me of like macrame or armor or something. And then it has like a little waist piece. Here's another sundress, same thing. This is kind of a white linen looking material. The bottom is asymmetrical. It has two layers to the front and then one longer layer to the back. Another thing I like about this one is that it has a metal detail on the neck. And with this little like window here, you can very nicely put like a little piece of jewelry in there, like a little sword and it's like perfectly framed. And then here's one more dress example of something I thrifted. This one is a bit shorter. This one is more fitted at the top and then it kind of flares out. So I feel like I don't need a belt with this one. I might add one because I love belts, but the neckline is kind of a v-neck shape and it has stitching and lace on it that reminds me of Baltic and Slavic designs on clothing. But the fabric is a natural fiber of some sort and I just think that those add to fantasy looks. Another thing I will address before I end this video is this comment about does color or texture have anything to do with fantasy clothes? I would say yes. I personally look for things that, like I mentioned, are a natural fiber or have like a texture to it so it's not just plain like corduroy or this blazer that I showed. It almost kind of looks like moss. I personally like to find stuff like that because I feel like not only does it look more historic um, being a natural fiber and usually in more neutral color palettes, I also feel like it just is more comfortable in my opinion and in my 
experience. It's lasted longer than other clothes that I have that are synthetic blends. But as you saw with the first outfit, just styling jeans and a white t-shirt, like you can still make fantasy outfits out of stuff that are not natural fibers or in a neutral color palette. Like you can really make it however you want to make it. And I think that is the most important takeaway. Like I'm here to give you ideas, but there's no right or wrong way to dress in fantasy style clothing. And at the end of the day, it should just be something that you enjoy wearing. I've put together outfits before that look great. Like they look really nice and like fantasy inspired, but they're not super practical. Like when I go out, like I feel like I have to keep adjusting the outfit and then it kind of just, I'm not having fun at that point. So as long as it's an outfit that makes you happy and it's comfortable and it's not gonna bug you throughout the day, really there's no rules. And I hope this has helped in some way. Um, I love making fantasy outfits. I tried my best to use as little items as possible to show you that you can style things in multiple ways. Um, I still managed to make quite a mess though. So I'm gonna go eat some spaghetti. He's gonna continue sleeping. And then I'm gonna clean up this mess. So make sure you hydrate yourself. And I hope you have a lovely week. I'll see you soon. <coughs> I'm so winded for no reason.